Hey guys, it is five o'clock in the morning and I am awake somewhat. I didn't sleep that well, so I'm tired. I got maybe six hours of sleep, which is kind of normal in the summer for me. Um, it still doesn't mean I don't want to sleep, but... Eh. Alright, so I haven't filmed anything for a little while. I'm trying as hard as I can to start remembering to film since this is all so new to me. It's hard to remember it, but I'm doing my best. I'm currently setting up my medications for the next week and yeah I missed a dose of medication which of course is not a good thing I'm just I take so many of them it's very hard although I only take two doses a day even though it's not really recommended that you take these at specific times but I'm finally back on my supplements which are a pain in the ass because there's so many of them hard to remember what all of them are since they're changing frequently but at night I've been taking one medication that seems to interrupt my sleep and because it interrupts my sleep and I have insomnia it's not a good combination but I'm dealing with it it was cool enough today that I didn't even need my air conditioner but I think I'm gonna run it tonight or at least the dehumidifier function because I woke up covered in sweat. These freaking things do not want to come out by themselves. Even if I do push my iron tablets through the packaging, they wouldn't come out because the packaging is really sturdy. I, uh, Set up this old clothes drying rack. This is all the clothing that I'm wearing currently. Something that I've worn once or and don't have, you know, stuff. Or something that I've worn a couple times, but I'm not ready to wash it yet. Yeah, you know, I have to take a pretty high dose of iron. I'm actually kind of anemic because of my stomach surgery. I had a gastric sleeve surgery in order to help lose some weight, which now I'm actually able to walk on my own, so that's a positive thing. And then I have other stuff going on. For instance, my therapist got promoted, so... I may have to switch therapists, which is going to be a fun time. Somebody else gets to deal with my fucked up ass. Not ideal, but hey, life happens. Right now it's summer, so it's a good time of year for me. I take calcium because it's a... Uh, necessary preventative measure and then I take a hair skin and nails vitamin because of the fact that when you don't have most of your stomach lining you tend to lose a lot of hair for the medications that I need to buy I or medications and supplements that I need to buy I usually 
keep a little whiteboard on my wall. Thinking about starting to take a prenatal supplement because it has most of everything I need. And there's no chance of me getting pregnant anymore, so hey, why not? I think my body just naturally lacks melatonin, which is why I take melatonin. <laughs> it helps. And I have to get a colonoscopy since the ulcer medication isn't as effective as they want it to be. And I'm still on the neuroblocker medication, which works really well for me. I didn't think that it affected me as much as it actually does. This is the medication that helps me sleep, since I don't sleep on my own anymore. I guess not sleeping on my own comes from a past where I had people waking me up at all hours of the night. So instead I just didn't sleep at night and slept at school. Uh, terrible, I know, but... One, I was bored. Two, the teachers didn't like me much. <laughs> Three. The most important thing for me was just surviving the day. So seriously, if you ever have a friend that keeps you up when you want to sleep, um, just tell them to fuck off. Sleep is very important. My doctors, the ones who manage my pain, tell me that I should with how severe fibromyalgia can get, I should probably be on the medical marijuana program. But that costs a lot of money. And insurance doesn't cover it. So, if I could, I would, but I can't, so I don't. Yeah, guys, that be all for today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see all of you next time. Bye now.